Last week, Erlene and I returned from a remarkable trip from China. It was a, an experience for me that I will never forget. The church in China is growing. Uh, the Spirit of God is moving in remarkable ways uh, throughout the country. In 1948, when all of the missionaries left China, there were maybe 700,000 Christians. In years that followed, particularly in the 60s and the 70s, during the Cultural Revolution, the church in China experienced a significant hardship and challenges. By 1980, there were less than 400,000 Christians. But in 1980, the church in China was reopened. Uh, the China Christian Council was established. Uh, the Three Self-Patriotic Movement was established. The Amity Press was opened. And since that time, the church in China has grown to where today there are conservatively 15 to 20 million Christians in churches that relate to the China Christian Council. All of us in Cooperative Baptist Fellowship value our partnership with the China Christian Council. And we worked hard through the years to nurture and strengthen that partnership. Part of the purpose of my trip was to uh, nurture those friendships and explore possibilities for even greater involvement and greater ministry with the church in China. I ask you to pray for the church in China. It's in a post-denominational context. It's in a time of explosive growth. But they have challenges and they need our prayers. I ask you also to consider CBF's involvement and as you consider your contributions to CBF and particularly to our offering for global missions, that you remember what God is doing through this partnership between CBF and the China Christian Council. I ask you to lift in prayer regularly God's kingdom in all parts of the world, but particularly in China.